Hi everyone, welcome back to Make Block and Mbot series. Uh, it's we're going to do another project today, but today's project is just a revisit on the use of the IR controller. No, the IR controller of the Mbot looks like this. Okay, uh, with the buttons just looks like your normal TV IR uh, controller. Okay, now we're going to use uh, practice using the IR controller to manipulate the M-Bot right? now of course in order to manipulate the M-Bot to move we will need to do coding now the coding is very very simple it basically makes use of if statement right? if statement if I press a certain button on the remote what should it do? right okay now another thing we're going to use is uh, another feature we're going to use with continue use is the panel the display panel so as the M board is directed to move forward it will display straight if it's directed to move left it will show left and if it is directed to move right, it will display right. Okay, later after we have implemented and downloaded the program, you can see how the M-Bot behaves as we use the various buttons to execute those motions. Right, okay, now, very simple. The program is basically very straightforward. Okay, I'm going to turn off the video temporarily. Now, we're going to use it on upload mode, right, on button A press, on onboard button press. By now, I believe you should know where the onboard button is. Okay, when I press up, it move forward and it will show forward. Okay, press down, right, it will move backward and show backward, right. Okay, I made abbreviation for those um, uh, wording because uh, the display can't, uh, to simplify it, I will just denote, for example, forward by FWD, backward by VK, left by LFT, and right by LDT, right? If, and lastly, of course, you need to stop. So, stop, I will use SOP, right? Okay, now, now this program has been loaded, okay, first we have to be connected. Right, connect. Now, my robot is connected to COM port 2, 6. I make a connection. Now, once connected, there's a pop up here to say, tell you that it's connected. And then, we are ready to upload. On upload, the program will be transferred. This program will be transferred to the Arduino controller. Sorry, the Arduino board on the M board. So I upload. Once you upload, you will see this upload in progress status popping up. And when it's completed, it will just tell you that the code has been uploaded. Now you're ready to test the program. Alright, now I'm going to switch you off to the video mode. Switch off the M board, make block. Right, so I'm going to switch off the make block. I'm going to switch on the video. Right, no. No, the first thing we need to do is to start the whole program that's been residing on the M board. We need to press on button, press, right? release okay now if I press a button with the, my R, IR controller if I press right it will turn right okay if I press left it will turn left okay now I want to move forward I press the forward button and I press stop to stop it now let me see again huh? let me show you again now SCOC means stop now I want to press Backward, 
you move backward and stop right okay now of course now there's a cable connected here actually it's not necessary you can take it off because the robot already has a program residing in his memory so I'm going to take this off okay now I'm going to switch this off and on right restart the program by pressing restart and reset the M board by pressing an on off button here sorry by resetting the on board button release now I'm going to start left okay I'm going to turn right right I'm going to move forward and then I'm going to stop okay I'm going to move backward I'm going to stop forward again stop again right okay Time. Now we stop. Backward. Stop. Forward. Stop. Turn right. One revolution. Turn the other direction. Another revolution. All right. Okay. That's the end of this project. Very simple. All right. If you have the M board and you have the accessory, do try out using the IR controller to remote control your robot okay okay thank you and i hope you have a fun time playing around with your coding and the mbot